Okay, I, and finally I, I heard some voice. <laughs> right, so uh, I know that this, is, this time is a little bit uh, uh, hard for you to stay awake and focus. I know that. So um, uh, let us make it more inter interactive for now. Basically, I, at this moment, my job is just to set the set to set the stage for the, my next speaker, which is uh, Ken Kates, which is going to talk about the uh, group replication in detail. At this moment, I'm going I, I'm just going to uh, get everyone on the same level first. So, guys, any one of you have not been using my SQL before? One, two, three, four. Okay. All right. So I guess now it's good for us to, to to get you on the same level to know what is MySQL, especially MySQL replication. But you guys have been using database before, right? What is data, what are the databases you're using? Postgres. 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 Right? All right. Okay. Cool. Right. So um, before, right now, is uh, basically. Replication, the idea is to make it is to is to make a clone of your master, right? To make a clone of your master. Now there are two purpose, two common purpose of making a clone. First is for high availability, or let's say DR disaster recovery. The second one is to for read scalability. Now, what is the what is what it means by read scalability? Read scalability means that let's say your let's say you have a system that needs twenty thousand select per second, but it only has two thousand uh, DML per second, right? Instead of the Now in this case, if you put if, if you if you hit everything into one single database server, your database server will definitely most likely will die faster. That's uh, as, uh, unless you have a very powerful server. Now the idea here is that you have a, you will be directing all your DML into the master, and then and then redirect all the uh, all the selects into several slaves. Because all these slaves uh, contain uh, data, right? Even though it's not it's not as up to date, maybe a little bit uh, late by few seconds but they contain most of the data. What happened? By the way, the you guys have been using replication in Postgres, no? Have you? You, you have been, you tried? We are learning about it. You are learning about it, okay, cool. All right. So now let's let's take a look at the and some at some topologies. What is the possible topologies that you can set up using a MySQL application? First, it's of course the this is the laser. Okay. Never mind. Okay. At this one at, at the top is master and slave. So you only have one slave, right? Now you can also you can you can also uh, develop to become two slave. Now you have two slave, so that means you you can actually redirect all the selects into two slave. Now the next one is actually uh, different layer slave. So this this is uh, some people call it uh, some people call it waterfalls. So at the back of your of the master you have two slave, and then at and then behind this must be behind this slave, there's another slave. Means that this guy become the master of this guy, right? So this there is a this this kind of uh, um, idea and this kind of method is actually um, deeply and heavily used in 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 uh, in company like Facebook, Twitter. All these all these guys are using this very very heavily. Now, starting from 5.7, we have uh, we make this topology possible. 
This topology means multi-source replication. You have a number of master, and then uh, and then uh, and then it writes to the slave. The slave will actually pull all the changes from multiple master. And what is the use case of this? Use case of this? Yes. Reporting. Reporting. So different databases. Yes. Consolidated reporting. So basically, let's say you have uh, you have a business that have a few branches. Uh, five branches. All these branches have a master, and then in, in your HQ you have the uh, the slave. So this slave actually pulling all the data from this uh, master and consolidate, and you can run reporting on it because you have the complete data from all five branches. Right. Now um, we have uh, that on top is a uh, master master. Is it is. It is uh, possible to be used in MySQL, but we don't really, we don't recommend it. We don't actually support it. Correct me if I'm wrong, by the way. But uh, yes, I mean uh, this is the support engineer. So. <laughs> we, we certainly recommend against writing to multiple at the same time. Exactly, yeah. right? Because it's prone to uh, problem. You support it, support it, not support it. Well, from from MySQL point of view, it's it's not supported. Well, right? I, I guess it's technically supported, but technically yes. Yeah, if you do conflict in China, you might use it in production. Yes. Yes, <laughs> yes. that's the idea. So, for I think group replication. Yeah. Group replication. Yeah. So the next one is uh, that is why the group replication comes in. This is uh, okay. The next one is about circular replication. So it means to say that every one of them is a master and a slave of the other. This doing replication in a circular manner, right? Now, um, consistency level. By default, replication in MySQL is asynchronous. Asynchronous means master will not care whatever happened to the slave. It will just accepting any transactions just don't care about the slave. The slave responsibility is to pull any changes from the master. Right? That is asynchronous. It is uh, that is by design because uh, we don't want to we don't want um, master performance to be impacted when it needs to update the, the slave. This is by design. Now, of course, because of some uh, some uh, some cases. People might want to go for the semi-synchronous replication. Why? What is a semi-synchronous replication? It's uh, basically we make sure that when when a transaction comes into the master, we'll make sure that these changes in the form of a log will be will will, will be pushed into the file system of the slave. So that it means to say that uh, it is already there in the form of a log. And it's, it is ready for the slave to pick it up and apply it. That's why we call it semi-synchronous. We don't call it synchronous. Because there is still one, one more stage that the slave needs to do before the, the database is updated. Right. Now, what is, what is the use case for that? It's when, it's when, the, when you, at some point, your data integrity between the master and the slave is more important than than your master performance, right? Okay. Um, replication workflow. So basically, primary when it receives a transaction, it will save it first to the database, to the commit, and then write to the binary log, the bin log here. By the way, this, this laser is not working. Is it? Okay, number two is this uh, writing to the bin log. And then the number three, the, the slave will be, will, be pulling, will be pulling the bin log to the slave file system and write it to the file system. When it is written to the file system, we call it relay log. Right. And then, the, the, the slave threads 
uh, is going to have to apply it and pull it from the file system and apply it in the database to make the, da the data, uh, to make the changes uh, applied into the slip. Right, automatic failover. Automatic failover in the replication. As you, because as you can see, some, some of you actually using it for uh, MySQL for HA, high availability or disaster recovery. Right? So high availability and disaster recovery means that when the master is down, you want you want uh, this uh, uh, this the next the most up to date slave to be able to become the new master, and the have the less the rest of the slave will be connecting to to this uh, new master. So how to do that? Because if you have if you have a number of slaves, if you have to do it manually, then you have to you have to spend quite a number of times. First, you have to detect that it is down. And then you have to jump onto your system and then try to connect it one by one, change master. You have to check also which one is up, most up to date. So this one, this thing takes time. So this this is why we actually create a, a, a script, a Python script in MySQL, in, in the as part of the MySQL utilities. We call it, we call it MySQL fair over. So this script is able to uh, to actually handle to make sure that it will capture the the the, the most up to date slave and then promote it to become the new master get the rest of the slave to connect to this guy as the new master everything is handled by the slave right. make your job easier just just run just one script that's all right now, so at this moment, I guess everyone more or less know the, the, the theory about the replication in MySQL, right? Now we are coming to group replication. Now, all this while we have we have known that uh, that master is writable and readable. Yes, so slave is only readable, right? Now, in group replication, we have we can write, we can write uh, and read to all the to, to all the servers in the group replication. Minimum group replication is three servers. <coughs> three servers. There is a there is a reason for that because uh, we need majority voting. All this will be uh, will be uh, explained by uh, Fan Cartes later. So. And the maximum number of servers is nine. Nine servers. Optimal number is or optimal number is depends on your workload, but uh, we always 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 aim for odd number because of the majority voting requirements. Now, okay, I'm not going to talk too much anymore because we don't have time. Um, I will end my 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 slides here because. Uh, Everyone is on the same level now in on education. I'm going to pass over to Fantatesh. Thank you very much.